hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by today in today's video i'm going to be sharing some ways you can do some diy crafts using dollar tree's fabric or just any fabric that you might have and these turned out absolutely gorgeous so let's jump in starting off with the first diy i have here these two little signs they look like houses but they are whiteboards so you can use them with your dry erase markers and i also have one of dollar tree's crates and what i want to do is i want to take some crazy glue along with hot glue because i want to attach the crate onto these two houses so you can see here i'm just adding it just like this but i'm putting it above the little lip of it as you can see here where the um frame of the house is because I think it will, you know, just sit better on top of there. And then once I press it nice and tight, I'm going to attach the other house to, to the other side. Just the same exact way. And I do use crazy glue because I want this to be nice and strong. Um, and make sure that it's going to last for a long time. So if you have some crazy glue, you can definitely use it or E6000. And these are the two fabrics that I have today from Dollar Tree. These are so beautiful. As you guys know, or if you don't know, sunflowers are my favorite flowers. So I knew I had to pick these up and do some crafts with them. What I want to do is I want to uh, take a strip of it just to the size of the side um of this whole entire piece as you can see here so i just cut it down to the size and i'm attaching it onto the house and running it across to the other side and i am also fraying it just pulling off some of the strings so that way it can look a little bit you know rustic and not too sharp on the edges um and once it's on there i do want to attach four thumbtacks to all four corners because I do want it to look like if it's nailed in. So I decided to cut off the little, uh, the needle part of it because if you stick it through, it's gonna show on, on, um, it's gonna pop out through the, the whiteboard side. And I don't want that to be like that. So I just put it down with hot glue on all four of the corners. And you can see just how nice it looks already so now i'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side just like that and look how pretty it's turning out so now with the openings you can see there on the side where we added the fabric and between the crates it's open in the bottom so i want to close that up and i decided to use a little bit of more fabric just to close that off because i do have an idea and you can use this it's a just a piece of wood but i decided to go with some fabric for the bottom but you can uh, just cover it up with whatever you would like to and once i cover it up with the hot glue and fabric i want to add some florals into this space here because i thought that would be super cute and just different a little different um and you can always change out the florals from season to season and you guys this diy is is uh an organization hack or even for teachers you can gift this to a teacher and i think it's turned out super cute and really nice that you can it's functional you can add your markers and stuff like that as you can see here in the crates and you can also write down some notes and reminders on the side i love it let me know what you think Next up my friends, I have here this wooden round sign and I have a whole stack of scrap fabrics here. Now I got this off of Timu a while back. Um, you can get them off of there or you can just stick to Dollar Tree's fabric and cut them into little pieces. Um, I'm going to take a bunch of different designs here. They come with a lot of different nice designs. I'm going to just pick out the ones that I want. As you can see here, I'm just going through each and every one of them until I like the ones that is picked out. And then I'm going to go one by one adding some Mod Podge so I can lay them down onto my sign. And you do want to work one by one because if not, then you're going to just let the 
Mod Podge dry up and we don't want that. Um, so work one by one and just keep going until the entire sign is full. This is going to turn out really pretty because you're going to have a lot of different designs and different looks, different colors onto the sign as the background. And this is one of my favorite from today because I just love how it turned out. So as you can see here, it's super simple. You just lay down your Mod Podge and lay them down. Now I'm not adding the whole entire square piece onto the sign because if I did, then it would just take up too much of the sign and I won't have enough space to lay down um, the other ones. So I'm just gonna continue to do that. And once they're all down, I am going to uh, add a layer of Mod Podge onto the top of it because that's just going to make sure everything is nice and you know stuck together and have a nice protective layer on top of that fabric so it does dries up really nicely on top of the fabric as well so um just put a nice layer right on top and let it dry really well before you continue working then i'm going to take my scissors and i'm going to go really nice and as close as possible as i can get it to cut around all of that excess fabric and make sure there's not a lot hanging out of the sides um so i'm just doing that now and once that is done i decided to take some of this rope from dollar tree and i'm gonna make a nice border around this sign so i'm just taking my hot glue and i'm just pressing that down and i do like to put it flat on the table so i can really get it to be you know in the right spot that it needs to be when i'm pressing it so I'm just going all the way around my sign until I get to the end. And once I get to the end, I'm just going to cut off any excess. Um, and you can see how nice this sign is turning out, my friend. It looks really nice with all of, uh, like I said, all of the different uh, patterns. And I really love it. So I do think that the rope as well gives it a nice um, rustic look. And so you can see here I'm at the end and I'm just cutting off that excess and that is it for the rope so now we can take this little sign this is from dollar tree they do come in a pack of six i believe it is six or eight and i'm giving it a coat of white paint and gonna let it dry really well because i want to add this to the center of my sign and i originally was going to add it with some hot glue but i decided that it will be better to add it with thumbtacks not only because it's going to make it more sturdy but um the hot glue really doesn't want to stick onto mod podge since it's a bit slippery so just to, for you to keep that in mind whenever you are using mod podge um it's just really hard to stick down so with the thumbtacks it worked perfectly and now i'm going in with this beautiful purple florals that looks like lavender i do believe it's lavender i'm not sure um but then i'm gonna wrap around some juicestring just to make it look like a little bunch there and i want to hot glue it down onto my sign nice and simple along with a little bow and here is the final look at it you guys and i think it turned out super simple and beautiful as well and um you would have to let me know what you think of this diy and if you would give it a try and let me know if you have uh tried any of my diys in the past um you could always send me a picture of some diys that you might try to recreate and send it over on instagram i'll have it linked down below so that way you know i can see them i would love to see if you recreate any of my diys and yeah let me know what you think of this one For the final DIY, my friend, I have here these two um, floral rounds. I uh, decided to use one at the end, but you can make a pair of this DIY if you wanted to. 
I'm gonna put some Mod Podge on top of it and I'm gonna make sure I put a fair amount because the floral foam would want to soak some of it up so just put a nice amount down and we're gonna add this black fabric um of course you don't have to go with black but I decided to go with black so it can you know match everyday decor and go with every season so I'm going with this black fabric and I got this one from Walmart in specific but I'm pretty sure you can find them at Dollar Tree as well um, so you just want to stretch it on there really well and make sure it's nice and tacky before you know you start cutting off the excess because it does take a little bit of time to want to adhere to the floral foam and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side of it so just flip it over and do the same exact thing because we want both sides to be nice and covered once it's all done you know you don't want the other side to not be finished so we can go ahead and stretch that fabric on and you want to stretch it really nicely because it might have some creases and you don't want that to be on there um of course you can iron this out beforehand if you wanted to but i was just being lazy and i just stretched it out and it turned out absolutely fine anyway and then i'm going to go in with a top layer of mod podge just to really get it sealed in and give it a protective layer and now you can see that it looks like a giant oreo but that's not what we're going for today we are going to continue working on this but i was thinking that that's a perfect diy if you are doing maybe a a kids party and you want to do some uh diys maybe it's a candy themed party or you know a sweets themed this is a perfect oreo or chocolate cookie diy um but anyway just throwing that out there so now i'm going in with this beautiful floral um ribbon from dollar tree and i'm running it across the sides of this entire piece because it fits perfectly right there so I decided you know to give it a nice decorative touch using the ribbon and now I'm adding some beads to the bottom just four of them because I want it a little bit risen so I'm gonna add four beads as legs and the hot glue works perfectly fine so I'm gonna go ahead and attach them using that and once it's flipped over it gives it a nice little height that it needs so now I'm going in with these wooden rings. You can find these at Dollar Tree and you want to be careful because they are, some of them come slightly bigger than the other ones and it's hard to tell. Um, so just really look at them really good so you can make sure that you have the same size. And so I'm just hot gluing them all the way around this piece to give it a nice border. And I'm attaching some hot glue to the side of the ring and then the bottom of the other ring just so it can stay nice and strong and cling together. And if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much. Your support means everything to me. And it is time for our secret word of the day. And I do this on almost all of my videos now. This is going to be our thing. So it's going to be at the end of every video. We'll have our own secret word that you can comment down below. And I'll, it just lets me know that you made it this far and you know, your support means the world to me so the word for today is sunflowers so comment that down below and i will know that you made it this far into my video and so now once all of those wood rings are there i'm gonna take some jute string and now this is a little time consuming but it does look really nice in the end i'm gonna take some hot glue add it to the back on top of the wood rings place it down really nicely so it can stay nice and stuck and i'm gonna wrap it around the two rings four times and i'm gonna do that to each pair of rings so i'm gonna just wrap it around and then i'm gonna move on to the next two and do the same thing and this is just going to make it uh really nice and strong and make everything bond together really nicely and i think that the rings do need it because um even though it's down with hot glue it's still a little bit you know it's on the verge of like if it were to fall it would just break easily because they are not you know attached to anything else other than the hot glue so if you do this it makes it really nice and tight and i'm glad that i decided to um you know wrap them around because it did make a 
big difference and it was nice and tight and sturdy so you just want to wrap it around and just add a little bit of hot glue to finish off the string and um you know just so it can stay in the back and make sure that all of them are in the back and they stay in the back so that way you don't see it in the front just like that you can see how it looks and look at the final results of this diy i think it turned out super beautiful and nice and it fits the large candle jars in there perfectly so just for your reference if you have large candle jars it will fit in this perfect and i think it looks absolutely beautiful you would have to let me know what you think and of course as you can see there i did add some little diamonds on that two string that you can find at dollar tree thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video please do give this video a big like if you like today's diys and do consider hitting that subscribe button so you can be a part of my family and i will see you all on the next one Take care. God bless. Bye.